New tonight, a sad update on a tragic story out of Antioch. One of three children involved in a terrible car crash last month has died. Family members say Jonathan Vincent died earlier today after being taken off of life support. KTV's Alyssa Harrington shows us how they're honoring his life tonight. There was a large turnout for this candlelight vigil to honor the life of 12 year old Jonathan, who was taken off life support after being hit by a car last month. An emotional goodbye to 12 year old Jonathan. The Antioch boy was taken off life support Saturday morning following a horrific crash that happened last month. Family and friends lit candles, released balloons, and said a prayer at a vigil to honor him. Devastated. It's been a long, long 15 days. Jonathan's grandmother, Carla Spiro, said he liked football, karate, and playing with his siblings and cousins. Jonathan and two of his 12-year-old family members, Mason and Cheyenne, were all hit while walking home from school on September 16th. Police say a speeding driver of a red Chevy Impala was involved in a collision with a vehicle on Sycamore Drive. The impact sent the Impala onto the sidewalk at Manzanilla Way, where the kids were standing. They were only two blocks from their house. Uh, I think they need to do something bad because they're flying by still and there's all kinds of people out here, you know, but hopefully maybe they need to put speed bumps on this road all through it. In his death, Jonathan saved many lives. He was an organ donor. A large group of family members went to the hospital to do the walk of life before he was removed from life support. He was so sweet, would give you anything he had. Well, Jonathan's grandmother tells me that the other children involved in this horrific crash have been released from the hospital and are now recovering at home. In Antioch, I'm Alyssa Harrington, KTVU, Fox 2 News.